Oh, this hair color? Oh, thank you. Yes, I call it Murky Lake. Um, hi guys. I am going to do a makeup tutorial today because I'm a little bored um, and we can still have pretty makeup while we're in quarantine to make our day feel a little bit more normal. Um, I have started off with a semi-clean, it's kind of the vibe of my life, um, beauty blender. And I have clean skin. I'm going to mist with this Glycelin Stem C Mist. I'm obsessed with these products. They're all vegan. I talk about them a lot. Kim, the owner and creator, has become one of my friends. She's really cool. Um, and then I'm going to... I think I'm supposed to add the uh, beauty serum to that. It's an anti-aging treatment. So you're supposed to like wet your face a lot and then let the serum sink in. I've been spending a lot of time outside in the backyard with my kids and my um, my melasma that I always talk about is really feeling that. So I'm trying to be good about sunscreen, but it's hard. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to use a Tata Harper um, Eye Balm. I really love this. It says it's a boosted contouring eye balm. And it's kind of thick, so I'm gonna dig some out and warm it up. My fingertips. And I'm gonna like pat it around my eyes. I'm gonna be careful, because that skin is so thin. Or will get thin. I'm gonna put it here. These beautiful lines that start to uh, show up more by the day, it seems. You can, you can kind of use this as lip balm too or I do anyway. And I'm going to go to my trusted Glycelin uh, Anti-Aging Cucumber and Peptide Moisturizer. So one thing I've realized, I'm like oil queen. I love to put oils on my face, but if you put oils on, if you prep with oils, um, your makeup doesn't stay on as well, your foundation. So I tend to use those when I'm not wearing makeup or at night. It smells so good. I'm a cucumber girl, so I really enjoy this cream and it's pretty lightweight. Okay. Get your hands. What have I been using? I've been using this, uh, who makes this? Uh, Giorgio Armani. Um, it's one of their newer foundations. I got it right before quarantine and I've used it a lot. Like, why have I been wearing this much makeup? I don't know. But I really like the texture. It takes a little bit to blend in. It's called Power Fabric High Coverage. And I don't really want super high coverage, but I want enough to cover the dark spot, spots, <laughs> spots, and get like even skin tone. So I'm gonna focus a lot up here where I'm uneven. This color is actually a little bit light for me because of all the setting I've been doing. Try not to be too aggressive, but I do want to blend it well so it doesn't take a ton of time. Um, you can put a little on your lids to create a base. I'm not going to do an eyeshadow base because I don't need that much. I don't need to spend that much time doing my makeup today. And that is pretty even. Ooh, I'm going to put my beauty light on. It's better. That's pretty even. And I'm going to use an RMS uh, Uncover Cover Up. So it looks like this, it's a cream. And I'm gonna use my fingers and just pop a little underneath my eye. Sometimes I'm a fan of this and sometimes I'm not, depending on how much sleep I've gotten. I really don't like super white underneath people's eyes. It makes you look like you have some kind of mask on and just kind of highly unnatural. Um, but if you have some dark circles, sometimes it's necessary. I'm gonna blend that with my beauty blender. I got some in my eye, ouch. Yesterday, Banks in the pool jammed her whole entire finger inside my eye. It's still irritated. It hurts so bad. Okay, that's pretty blended. 
Now I'm going to, I found this deep in my drawer. It's called Razika, I think. It's a contouring palette. It's really nice because it has highlight, bronzer, and contour. And I'm going to use this nice dirty brush that I found. And I'm gonna use the ashy brown color in the middle, flick some of your product off, and I'm gonna create a crease in my lid. I don't like a cat eye. So I, I focus more on the in, inside part of my eye and a little above my crease line to create the illusion that I have a deeper crease than I do. And I also like to drag it on the insides and down my nose. So you get a little bit of that like feline effect. Follow the bones, your bone structure of your nose and uh, about here where it starts to dent in. If you want to accentuate that, just create a line. And I do it with a fluffy brush so it's not too intense. And everyone's nose shape is different, so you kind of have to figure out what works for you. But that works for me. And then I'm gonna blend it a little bit so it's not too harsh. And I like that. This is a, a, fl a soft, fluffy brush, but it's not too fat. I'm gonna use the same color, maybe with a little bit of brown, and create my contour. I like the W effect, so if you think about your face like a big W, you'd go up the, up the middle of your face where your nose is to create like sunshine almost, how the sun would hit you, and then up again. And then you can do a little bit all the way around create a nicer jawline that I don't actually have. Blend the, the eyeshadow crease that I did, the fluffy brush. And that's already made me a little more bronzy. And I'm gonna take that down just a little. It's gonna look insane. And I'm gonna actually take a highlight, one of these highlights and the fat part of my beauty blender, smudge it out on my hand, and pop that in the T-zone area. I'm gonna set my under eye uh, concealer that I did with the same kind of just mixture of bright shadow. It has a slight shimmer, but not too much. There we go. Okay, my base is done. Now I'm going to get into the fun stuff. I'm loving these MAC mineral blushes. This is called New Romance. And this one's called Fairly Precious. It's an orangey tone. And since my hair is lake water green right now, I've been really liking the coral and orangey tones. And I'm gonna give myself some blush. Let me get the brush hairs off my face. Go away, go away, go away, okay. These are super shiny, which I love. They're so pretty and natural. And I might add a little more pop of blush at the end, but we'll see. Now, what am I gonna do? This, Gucci Westman. She made a really pretty uh, a couple of highlighters she made. This one is called Peach. And I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow today. So using that same brush that I contoured with, I'm just going to create a nice little sheen on my lid. All over, like that. Not being too precious about it. So you can be smudgy. You can bring it out a little bit over here. And I need a little bit more precise brush. This looks like my daughter's been dipping into it. Sometimes I get the shock of my life. She's been in an eyeshadow palette with a brush and it'll be super dark and I won't realize it. And then I'll like ruin my makeup by using that brush before I look at it to clean it. Um, I'm just doing a little under shadow. and I'm gonna pop a highlight 
above my lip here and on the tip of my nose. I'm actually gonna go under my brow, too, my brow here for a little, sh a little shine. Can you see? This is actually a very nice color. I use it all, all over my face too. And it's nice to, if you have your chest showing, to add it here too. Collarbone and chest. It's a really nice versatile color. So this weekend I was playing around with a blue eyeliner. This is a liquid liner. It's by Marc Jacobs. It can be a little finicky but I'm gonna try to recreate what I did because it was really fun. So I start in the middle of my lash line and start to paint out towards the edge of my eye. And then I don't go all the way down to where my eyelashes are. I start to flick out where I run into my crease. And then I make that line bigger I like this blue because it's not, it doesn't have a dark undertone. It stays very bright blue instead of getting too dark. I'm gonna create a bit of a triangle to get to that point, and I fatten it up in the in the crease so my flaws don't show as much. If that makes any sense, I'm talking about right around here, creating that upside down triangle dries kind of fast. Then I work my way in to decide how fat that line can be. And I try to press up against my lash line and then thicken it as I work my way out. And many liquid liners start to dry fast. So instead of trying to push down and drag where you can actually lift the product and then create like a bare space, which is not good, uh, press press, press instead of drag. So I'm gonna get a little closer here, fatten it up a little to, to create the smooth line. My hands start to get shaky. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, the other fun thing that I did, I've always loved the little dot that people put uh, as a focal point underneath their lash, uh, down here on your bottom lash line. And I've seen it in a few different colors and obviously like editorial, it looks really cool when it's just, you have a bare face and the dot, but it's not as realistic for daily use. It looks kind of weird. So I played around with doing a little bit more of a full face of makeup and then adding that dot as a cool focal point underneath. Let me see if I can get this even. Can't talk for a second. Cat eyes go back to my theory of like, they, they can be cousins, not, not twins, because it's so hard to do. As long as you have the right shape, no one's gonna be judging if it's spot on. For my eye shape, I don't do a super flick up. I feel like it looks weird on me, but you have to use your best judgment with the shape of your eyes. Hmm. I have to extend this line a little bit to match the sides. I think I did okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add the top. And I'm gonna choose one space right there. You can do this with any color. White could be cool. I've been wanting to try that, but I don't have a white eyeliner. And it's gonna look a, a bit more less, it's gonna stand out less when I add mascara. You could do a couple of dots too, that'd be cool. Kind of doll-like, if you will. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Make sure you get them all in. When you feel comfortable, give it a light squeeze and then give it a 
really hard squeeze and kind of lift up like this. This is called The Shock. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. Mine's kind of old right now, but I'm gonna make it work, you know? I love Vol Voluminous by L'Oreal. Such a good uh, mascara, I've used it forever. Um, this one's nice, it's like a raggedy cattail or something. It's like fat and really gets your lashes nice and covered. She's really goopy right now. I'm going for a chunky mascara look today. Great. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara on the bottom. We're not trying to get every lash. I'm just trying to darken them a little bit to add some definition. Then I pick it off the end so I don't have a spidery vibe. If you have a little spoolie, they're great to comb through your lashes. Okay, so I have my little dot. It's not super noticeable, but it, it does add a focal point that's kind of cool to draw attention to your eyes. And now I'm going to use my favorite product, Wonder Brow. Get this on Amazon. I use the brush it comes with because it's a funky texture. It works better than other brushes that are, I think this is a synthetic brush. And for some reason with this product, it works better than using a real animal hair brush. I'm filling in my brows, making them a little bit bigger than what they are, and adding a point to the end down here where I don't actually have any hairs. It's the illusion. I'm running out of this baby too. Fill in, fill in. I'm very light, I'm like very, very light about this right now. So just little tiny brush strokes. You can do this with a pencil too. It's easy, it's uh, more precise for sure, but it takes a lot more time. No one's really gonna be seeing me, so. I'm gonna do this quick. Here's my brow. My eyebrows are very different shapes. This one's like lower, so. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with them. Lossier boy brow. This helps keep them upright, so I'm gonna Try to make them a little fluffy. This Wonder Brow product is kind of like glue. It dries and then you can even go swimming and your brows won't come off, which is so bomb. But if you don't go through there with something like this product, Boy Brow, they could be like glued down to your face and that looks kind of weird. So you wanna fluff them up before they get too dry. So they have some volume and they actually look like hair. Can you see? Bobby Brown. This is just a gold shimmer. You can use a silver shimmer, whatever your little heart desires. Give a little pop in that eye. Go back over this. And I'm going to use a Nude Sticks color. This is cool because um, it's a lip paint, but you can also put it on your cheeks or your eyes. So I'm gonna do it on my lips. And I don't want this intense of a color. I'm gonna smudge it, smudge it down a little bit. And it becomes like a stain. Solid brush here, good way. I keep smudging because that feels a little dark. And I'm gonna put a little on my cheeks. I'm actually gonna use the fat part of my beauty blender and just add a little tiny pop of this on my cheeks. It's nice to be cohesive, so actually working with Nude 6, they taught me that. Basically all the products you can use on your eyes 
your chip, your cheek, your chips, your cheeks, and your lips. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, Kevin Aquan makes a really great highlighter. This one's called Prism Rose. Tiny bit goes a long way. This is like gloss almost. So I'm gonna put it on my cheeks just for that extra sheen. You can press it around all of your, your face a little bit if you like. And I feel like I still need a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use Hoola by Benefit and a fluffy brush. Take it down a little bit on my hand and just blend all over. ColourPop is an amazing company. I love their stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to my red. And the other fun thing that I've been doing to have fun and make my day a little bit more sparkly and I'm gonna pop one of these babies on. My kids really like these. And that is how I've been doing my makeup. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Here I am.